So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! He got out with it. Oh. I did my best to help those poor bastards. Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them, or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attacked from on high like Apache's often did. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo. I knew he was with the cowboy. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to fight my way past these other assholes first. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Hard to hit a moving target! I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking, going up against a gang like this? I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. 
The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. He would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune even the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. The old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. <laughs> 